Welcome to this week's episode of the Four City Lady Mustang Softball Coaches Show. I'm Four City School District Public Relations Director Kendall Owens, and I'm here with Head Coach Alan Perry. Coach, we are about to kick off a new season. You all have a tournament this weekend. Uh, how do we look? Young. <laughs> well, uh, we, we've got a lot of excitement on our ball team. Um, we've had some girls that's been working on their pitching and on their hitting for the last four or five months. Okay. Uh, and it's, it's created ex, it, excitement amongst the rest of our ball players. So they're excited to, to play. And actually, I'm ready to play because I'm tired of practicing. <laughs> ready to get the season started. Just to now, see what we have. And you're starting off at Sylvan Hills. Who are you starting off with? We play Sylvan Hills in the first round. Okay. Um, it's a nine-team tournament. Uh, I think we have Sylvan Hills, Searcy, Lake Hamilton, Glen Rose, mm -hmm. uh, BB's in the tournament. So it's it's got some good teams in it. Good. Um, now, you said that you have a lot of youth. I uh, don't have a lot of, of upperclassmen that are playing. And one of the things when I talked to Coach Mosley when we were talking about kicking off his season show, uh, you always start out with baseball and softball with pitching and defense. That's true. Where do we stand as far as pitching is concerned? Well, we've got two two girls or two young ladies that are going to be uh, new to our our pitching staff has okay. that, and uh, they've never pitched in a ball game. Gotcha. But they've spent the last uh, six months working on the form and technique, mm -hmm. uh, learning how to throw different pitches, and they're ready. They're ready to step on the mound just to see what they can do. The only, the only drawback to that is, it it, it becomes a little different uh, ball game when you have to do it for real and you're right. actually looking at batters and. Uh, Pressure has a way of uh, bringing out the best or the worst in you at times. So we're I, hoping for the best. I definitely understand that. Uh, it is a little bit different when you're standing up there and you're standing on that mound and you're looking down and looking not instead of just at a catcher, you're looking at someone standing in the box. I don't want this pitch to go left or right and hit somebody, but I still got to get a strike. And, and the pressure does start to build. Well, the good thing about it is, if you hit somebody, it doesn't go very far. <laughs> uh, but we, you know, we still have to give them time to to adjust mm -hmm. to get used to that that atmosphere of being on the mound and throwing the batters. Uh, th there's some things that they're we're just going to have to be patient with and let them learn to overcome that. Uh, we can't put a time limit on it because we don't know how fast they're going to adjust to what they need to do to be successful. You know. Pitching on a oh, in a ball game, so. right? Now, yeah. offensively, um, everyone talks about power and how important power is to softball and, and to baseball as well. But also, I think speed is a very important component as well, and that's something that Four City tends to have when we don't have power. How do we look at those two areas? We've got some girls that's got power. We've got three or four that have enough power that they can hit it out of the ballpark. Mm -hmm. Speed-wise, uh, people have always been scared of us when we got on base because they, they didn't know what we were going to do. Right. Uh, we can run. Uh, if we can get on first base, we can get to second. And, and if, if you get, get on second, a single a right. single score is a runner from second. That's right. Uh, so we, we have enough speed that we can compete there. We have enough power that we can compete. And, again, with the uh, way that we're swinging the bat, the way we've, we've, we've changed one little technique that we've been doing, or that we're doing now that we haven't done in the past. And it's not so much that it's uh, it's hard to learn, but when you get something in your mind, mm -hmm. it takes a little time for that to become automatic instead of mechanical. Right. So uh, uh, go ahead. they uh, just like pitching, they're, they're ready to play. They, they want to step into the box and see what they can do. How has it impacted you with <clears> – <throat> the local without having a, a strong feeder program from the city league on up how has that impacted you when you're taking young ladies that have to that you literally when they're freshmen it's the first time they've stepped on a field or stepped on a field competitively well the ones that we have now mm -hmm. uh, we we started working with them when they were in the ninth grade and it's amazing what a year's difference can make in and the way they threw in the ninth grade as to the way they threw in the 
throw in the tenth grade. Gotcha. Um, I have always said that people people don't uh, beat us because of lack of talent. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got as good a talent or better than anybody in this part of the country. It's just the lack of skills that go with it. Uh, a lot of the teams that we play, they you know they have travel ball. They'll they'll have the majority of their team will play 20, 25, 30 ball games during the season. They're taking hitting lessons. They're taking pitching lessons. They're taking catching lessons, throwing lessons. You know, something that will enhance their, their performance on the field. Um, and they start that when they're six, seven, and eight years old. Right. And I started in the ninth grade. So our ladies pick up quick. Got it. They're not uh, – they're, they're, they're pretty sharp. And those players that that haven't played that, that aren't playing that traveling ball because even though they may play a twenty five game, you, you talk about them playing they play twenty five games before they ever start the season, or they play thirty games before they ever start the season because they're traveling during the summer and even traveling during the fall with fall ball and, and still honing those skills. Well, you, you're bringing that up. A lot of a lot of schools, and and hopefully we're going to do this uh, next year are going to 7th and 8th grade programs during the fall. Okay. And they're, they'll play a 16-game schedule and possibly a tournament during that time. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it just exposes our ladies that are in the 7th and 8th grade. Here, here's a sport that we have, and let's get you used to, to throwing and catching. And uh, we're just trying to teach fundamentals and techniques during that time, and that's all we're interested in. So to be able to start a program like that next fall uh, – it's just like having a JV ball game on Monday night with football. Right. Or a seventh grade program for, for a football or basketball. It, it's big. It, 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 would give, it would then build that feeder program. Oh, yeah. So that once you get them in the 10th grade, it's not you're dealing with somebody stepping on the mound for the first time or stepping in front of a, pit, a live pitch for the first time. Well, <clears throat> I learned this from Danny Graham at Rivercrest years ago. He said, when you don't have the athletes moving in, you have to build your own. Mm-hmm. And we don't have athletes that are moving in. And we have people that move in, and they may or may not play softball or football or whatever sport it may, may be. So if we're going to have any type of program, we're just going to have to develop our own kids where they can compete at an early age. Now, it may not be the 7th, 8th, or 6th, 7th, 8th year olds, and that's okay. Um, but we can start them in the 7th grade, and by the time they're in the ninth grade, at least they've got some kind of fundamentals about the game and, and they know uh, they've got some some of the uh, skill sets that go with it, got it. Uh, like where to go with the ball, depending on where the runners are at, base hit, where am I going with the ball before it's ever hit. Mm -hmm. And those are the type of things that you can teach that we don't have to worry about teaching when they get to high school. Well, Coach, good luck in opening the season uh, this weekend at Sylvan Hills. I'd like to thank you all for joining us this week for the Lady Mustang Coaches Show on Four City School District's I almost said Superintendent Four City School District Public Relations Director Kendall Owens signing off for this week. Thank you for joining us.